Good afternoon. How's everybody doing today? Good. What do we got? Great. Uh, you know, Kenny, Kenny Berry is ready for this week. <clears throat> the Rose is going to have. Um, you know, what do you see in him? You know, how valuable is that versatility that he can play multiple parts here? You know, it's big. Um, Derry's done a great job uh, over the time of his career here, just learning and t continuing to improve each and every day. I would say the the one thing that has impressed me is what he's done from a mental standpoint, um, particularly in his ability to communicate, his ability to run the defense, um, his knowledge of all of the calls, all of the communication has helped him in terms of being able to adjust to different positions. Um, and we've asked him to do a little bit more of that as you know he's gotten into his second and third year here. Um, I think it's served him well, and hopefully it's going to continue to serve him well. The, obviously, it's a monstrous challenge go tackle Jonathan Taylor if this is not an easy thing. Uh, what have you seen from him so far this year? Um, and, and what are you kind of expectations for your guys to get him to the ground? Yeah, he's a he's a really good back. Um, he's got a nice mix of power, a physical running style, but he's got elite speed. He's got elite burst. Um, he's an impressive football player. Uh, I would say, you know, you've got to get – you can't let him build speed. That's one of the things. If he's able to – to get downhill on a 45 degree angle and not break stride, man, it is a tough play to make. Um, we got to build a wall up front with the defensive line, with the, the linebackers. We've got to eliminate space in the front and not let it get started would be the first thing. Um, when he does, we've got to tackle well. Um, we've got to do a good job of having a low target on those tackles. We've got to deal with his stiff arm and we've got to get multiple people there. He runs with a really aggressive and hard style. You're not going to have Willie here for a month, right? And, you know, he's talked to us before about kind of mental, getting his mental stuff right and everything, and now he's going to have to deal with this and not being around here. When in the hierarchy of talking to players and stuff like that, when you're the linebackers coach, you're around these guys a little more than others. How much do you have to kind of keep your eye on someone like him to make sure he's doing okay outside of the football part? Because it's unending, the, the work you have to do here about football. Yeah, how much have you paid more attention now to things like that mental side of it for some of these guys? Well, I think that's a big piece of it, right? Like, our, as a person, your whole life is tied together, right? And if some part of it is out of whack, whether it's the family situation, whether it's a personal situation, whether it's a health issue, it's going to affect your job. And it doesn't matter what profession you have. At some point in time, it it comes into play. And so that is an important factor, and not just with him specifically, but with, with everybody. Um, and each guy is different. Um, you do try to keep your pulse on it. Um, it is difficult because we get isolated as coaches here in the building. Um, and even, you know, we don't get out and see or feel kind of what's going on in the community or even in the media or social media at times that maybe players feel a little bit more than we do. Um, you try to stay in tune to that, but also it's, it can be difficult to actually walk in another person's shoes, obviously. Um, so you try to build those relationships so that the players are open, they're honest, they're willing to talk. Um, you do start to sense when there's something going on. Um, and hopefully when that does come up, you get a place where you can have a conversation that's honest about it. Um, sorry if this has been asked before, but um, what makes Nick maybe above average pre-snap? You know, it's interesting. He said to me the other day um, that he's got, you know, he sees something and he remembers it. He's got a, a little bit of a photographic type of a memory. And when he said that, I, I, my comment back to him was, after being around you for a while, I, that's not an overstatement. Like, he does. He's very, very um, quick to learn, understand. You tell him something once and he's got it. And so that translates onto the field for him. Um, and he does a good job with pre-snap keys. He does a good job with communication to the people around him in terms of anticipating things. Um, it's an asset, without a doubt. Coach, I want to go back to Willie just a little bit. Um, and we know he's out, but what do you feel like you're missing the most without him on the field? I understand it's next man up, but obviously he does yeah. leave a gap. Yeah, it does. Uh, the first thing I noticed, we're not on the field necessarily yet, but you, you notice him not being in the building, you know. Yeah. Um, you notice, you know, his smile. You notice his energy. Um, you feel that. Um, we'll see. That remains to be seen when we get out on the field. You know, I've got great confidence in Darius and 
Elijah and Leo and the rest of that room, Jack Cochran, to, to come in and play well, you know. Um, we'll see. That remains to be seen. I think I've got all the confidence in the world those guys are going to step up and play well for us. Last one, Eric? And with with Jack bringing him up and everything, what did it, is it that you kind of saw in him being a young guy and everything like that that's ready now? Well, he's done a nice job since the day he got here, to be honest. Um, been very impressive in terms of his football IQ and the way he works and the way he prepares. Uh, he's got some athleticism out of him. There's a little bit of natural instincts and awareness to him on the field. Um, he, he gets football. Um, he feels things, uh, you know, a little bit naturally um, that allows him to be instinctive and make plays. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yep.